hello students so let's start today's lecture it's the continuing portion of the theory of demand this part 5 before starting kindly subscribe my channel and do press the bell icon for further update this is cs couple plan so let's start now in the last lecture we have discussed about individual demand we have seen these all as the factors of individual demand these are first was price of given commodity then second is price of related commodity third is income of consumer fourth is taste and preferences and fifth was expectations we have discussed these points in the last videos now let us understand market demand and its determinants see the first five are also the part of market demand so i can see that market demand is broader as compared to narrow means may bol sakta hu ki market demand ek broader concept hai aur individual demand ek narrow concept hai aisa ke kaha ja sakta hai ki individual demand market demand ka part hai now ab jo ye do factors hai size and composition of the population and next is distribution of income now let us understand these two first let us understand what is the meaning of population size and number of buyers now understand agar aapki population increase hogi so what will happen the demand will also increase man ke chalo ki agar 10 consumers the और अगर एक कंज्यूमर एक यूनिट ऑफ डिमांड करता है तो तेरे पास डिमांड कितनी थी 10 लेकिन अगर कंज्यूमर से इंक्रीज होके 10 से 100 हो गए सो व्हाट विल हैपन डिमांड भी क्या हो जाएगी इंक्रीज हो जाएगी सो देयर इज अ डायरेक्ट रिलेशन क्या जा सकता है कि एज द नंबर ऑफ कंज्यूमर इंक्रीजेस देयर विल बी इंक्रीज इन द डिमांड आल्सो नाउ लेट अस अंडरस्टैंड व्हाट इज डिस्ट्रीब्यूशन ऑफ इनकम नाउ डिस्ट्रीब्यूशन ऑफ इनकम अगर इक्वल होगा so what will happen means focus on this word particular word is equal if there is equal distribution jo aapki demand hai wo har section of society se aayegi jaise likha hai that demand will come from all the section of society agar unequal distribution rahega to there will be no increase in demand